Hello and welcome. In today's video we're going to be doing something um, a lot different and we're going to be talking about um, electroculture and drawing power down from the ether into our beautiful plants so that we can grow our own food and have a beautiful garden. Um, we're going to be making some antennas and for grounding our um for grounding grounding the energy down from the ether and um, from the ionosphere the ether the that's all around us um in the heavens the power that exists there that where the lightning comes from and all that energy that we feel around us all the time we're going to be drawing from that energy and grounding it into our gardens now you can do this with a garden bed where all of your plants and fruits and veggies and trees are planted into the soil of your garden or you can do it with pots like I've got um, and um, you will see a magnificent difference I will put before and after pictures in but only I only made the I only made my antennas I only found out about this um, a month and a half or so ago and I made my antennas and I put them in and I've seen a substantial difference I will put before and after pictures in um, at the same time I did repot all my plants because I bought them all exactly a year ago and I had them potted and they needed to be repotted um, fresh compost uh, or fresh potting mix and um, and also uh, yeah slightly bigger pots so because they had grown a little bit but they weren't leafing they weren't bushing out they weren't fruiting but now they are and it's amazing this right here is my prize beauty this is my um this is my uh grapefruit tree if i bring you around here it is my there you go grapefruit um my grapefruit tree and just just like a month and a half ago before I put the antennas in this had like it only had this one main branch it only had this one main branch of leaves and it was only about this tall and it was only leafing up to about there. It didn't have all these, all these other branches that have, that are coming off of here. It didn't have any of these at all. All of these beautiful, big, bushy branches are new. All of this growth and all of this leaf at the top here is new as well. Um, none of this was here. It was just, it was, <laughs> it was very short and very um, shabby, but it has exploded. Now here I've got some kangaroo paw and look at how beautiful this <laughs> this beautiful kangaroo paw but um, honestly this does need repotting I need to get around to this one but it doesn't have an antenna so we're going to make an antenna for this one and also so here is my my mandarin my mandarin tree and the same thing um, before I made the antenna see so here's the antenna before I made the antenna only had a couple of leaves it had a lot of growth coming off the bottom here but it was all like brittle and harsh and so I cut all of that back and now it's leafing really healthy um, and it's growing and it's even starting to look you see there's like a little bud there it's coming through Now the same thing for this beautiful palm tree. Now this palm tree is a um, New Zealand native palm tree. I am of course in Australia, but this is a New Zealand native palm tree. At the time someone gave me, um, my partner at the time gave me this, um, gave me these two and told me that if I just put them in compost, in polymix, they will grow and they have, but they don't have an antenna either. So I'm gonna make a, an antenna for these. Um, but they're doing really well. I've had these for several months and um, they are growing and they're doing really well. But with the antenna, boom, they're gonna blow. Now, my banana plant, again, this needs repotting, um, but it does have an antenna. And since I put the antenna in, it's just like leafing like crazy. Um, it's got all this beautiful leaf. Of 
and then finally we have my lemon tree um, and <laughs> again my partner at the time made me this um, made me this huge antenna um, because it was him that, that found out about it and taught me um, but we have um, he's put some quartz some raw natural quartz on there from his from his property and he's um, because the quartz has got extra the quartz is actually proven to have um, living energy um, like ether energy within it naturally just on its own so that's even more powerful but my lemon tree had not fruited yet oh gosh and look it's it has flowered and now it's starting to grow all these beautiful little buds hopefully we're going to have some lemons and it it's growing it's growing in height it's growing more leaf and it hasn't flowered before but again like since i put the since i put the um since i put the uh, antennas antenna in just over a month ago it has <laughs> it's it's grown it's flowered and it's getting little lemon buds on there so hopefully for the first time i'm gonna have some lemons So to make our antennas, it's really simple. We just need a good stick and some copper wire. It's got to be copper. Copper has got excellent um, grounding um, energy. It's very, it's it's got um, awesome energy inside of this little copper. This little copper reel is full of awesome energy. So we need pure copper. We need a stick, and that's almost just about. Well, that is it, really. So let's go and find ourselves a couple of good sticks. Now, as you can see, I've got some more plants out the other side of my unit. And um, pretty much all of them, not all of them, but most of them have got um, antennas in them as well. Um, these tomatoes, look at these tomatoes. Now, I bought these about a month ago and I put an antenna in. And they have just shot up, maybe not even a month ago. Maybe three weeks, but they're growing, <laughs> they're growing really quickly. So, and also, also right here, I have um, some rhubarb. Now I'll show you before and after pictures of this as well, but this was um, looking a bit sorrowful. <laughs> I put an antenna in and look at all these beautiful big bright leaves and it's growing really healthy and it's awesome the same thing with my passion fruit vine um this was struggling it was barely i need to raise these um cages and put them i need to put them up there so that then it can climb upwards but it was struggling, it was always looking half dead. It wasn't bearing many leaves at all. I put an antenna in, and once again, at about the same time as all the others, all of a sudden, it's bushing out, it's got heaps of beautiful leaf, and I'm hoping that this is gonna start fruiting as well. But again, these cages, I need to, I need to put them on the roof because I've learned that passion fruit vines like to climb upwards. So we will do that but everything almost everything in my yard has got the antennas um, blueberries as well look I put uh, made an antenna for my blueberry bush and I'm getting blueberries look for the first time once again blueberries flowering and getting blueberries and um, then I've got an olive tree here as well It'll take a little bit longer to grow, but that also has a antenna. And then we have my beautiful sunflowers, which I also potted only just about a month ago. And once again, they have um, they have an antenna. Now these are extra special because these beautiful babies. Look at how they're starting to flower, and they're beautiful. These beautiful babies I planted from seed. They were just tiny little seeds that I put in the 
put in the potting mix and even I need to repot these I didn't think they were going to grow so fast but they did they shot up like within within like two or th within like a few days they were this tall um so I need to repot them and give them more potting mix but they're starting to flower already look look how beautiful they are okay so let's get ourselves um some sticks now there are quite a few here especially because um, some men came and cut down a beautiful tree that was right there yesterday they came and cut down this beautiful tree because it was leaning over the neighbor's fence but this looks perfect but they came and they cut down that beautiful tree and um, it's quite sad really <laughs> there were so many beautiful birds that came and visited this tree and um, now they're not going to visit anymore not there anyway all right let's see if we can get in we this is perfect this kind of stick here because remember we're doing it for our kangaroo paw and we're doing it for our palm tree so let's see okay i think these two will be good these two look good we'll go with these now to make our um, antennas is so easy and the reason that we use sticks is because they are natural. They are natural and they, um, because they are natural, they naturally um, allow the power and the energy from the ether to move through them. Um, if we used any other material, plastic or steel or anything like that, then the energy wouldn't be able to, it wouldn't, the energy wouldn't be able to live and move through it. So it's important that we use something natural and sticks are the perfect um, ingredient for the job. And then like we said, copper has got amazing um, um, conductive um, properties. It's amazing for this job. It, um, it's got actually copper has healing benefits and so many things but we'll cover all of that on a different video now to make our copper to make our antennas is so simple so let's begin we'll use this one for our kangaroo paw now all we have to do is take our copper wire and we want to go anti-clockwise now we want to go anti-clockwise and just wrap the copper around the stick. It's as simple as that. We want to go anti-clockwise because if we look at nature, the geometric, the geometric patterns in nature, everything goes anti-clockwise. Everything draws the energy from the ether down towards down towards the earth in an anti-clockwise motion. And it is really just as simple as this. Now we leave a bit at the top. For the antenna tower we're just going to cut that off there so leave a bit at the top we want to have one we want to have the bottom bit the bit that's going into the into the potting mix we want to have that facing down certainly so goes certainly so we're drawing from the ether down into the potting mix and again, let's do our second one for the palm trees. So we'll leave a bit down at the bottom and then we'll go anti-clockwise and just wrap our copper wire around. You can get this copper wire from any hardware store. Should be able to.
there are a couple of cars passing by beautiful souls all of a sudden everyone whenever like it's the street is always so quiet and then the moment i start recording any kind of video for youtube the whole world seems to know where i live <laughs> and they drive past This is a quiet little street in a tiny little city. You can get from A to B in this little city in f within five to ten minutes. Hardly any traffic at the foot of mountains and yet every time I record a YouTube video, the whole of Queensland seems to know exactly where I am. Okay, um, so we needed to just untangle that a bit, so let's keep going. Just keep wrapping it around and again we want to leave um, a length at the top for the antenna so we've got a bit that goes down into the potting mix or into the earth um, if you were putting these straight into the ground depending on if you're putting them in garden beds or if you wanted you can make giant ones of these you could make a six foot one and put it in the ground and it will draw energy into all of your garden you could like make a couple of giant ones but because I'm doing it for pots we're just making little ones yeah there are some people who have made giant ones they've got like they're growing heaps of crops because it's a really good idea to start growing your own fruits and veggies um, and they've made giant ones that they put in the ground amongst all their crops and um, obviously they use thicker copper and you know um, they make entire structures but wood is a perfect structure to use um, a structure a perfect material to use and then you can put them in the ground and it will draw energy into all the crops I've seen people I've seen videos and photos of people I'm um, harvesting giant crops and like plentiful plentiful crops abundance of crops because they are adding these antennas. So let's put them into our um, our kangaroo pot and our um, palm tree. Okay, so first of all, we've got this smaller one here for our kangaroo paw. So we're just gonna put that in to the, um, we're gonna find a good spot. Now we need to make sure that this bottom bit stays facing down and goes into goes into the um, potting mix. All right, this looks like a good spot to go through. There are a couple of little spider webs there. We'll put that through and then let's just push it through into the potting mix like that. There you go. Now, <laughs> I will do a report, but we'll check to see how how this affects the kangaroo paw, how it grows, how it blooms. I will do the same thing again with our um, New Zealand palm. Again, making sure that wires going down into the potting mix and wires going up into the ether. So we'll just put, we'll pop this straight in down there. There you go, and we have our antenna. How awesome is that? And it's as simple as that, folks. It is as simple and as awesome and as wonderful as that. So, beautiful souls, we now have antennas in all our pots along this garden out here on the veranda. So. Beautiful souls, I want to thank you so much for joining me here. I hope you have learned something new and you feel inspired to um, create abundance in your own backyard, on your own veranda, on your own balcony, wherever you live. You can do this with pots, you can do it with on a grander scale, on a bigger scale. Um, but it's time, beautiful souls, if you're not already growing your own fruit and vegetables, now is definitely the time and these antennas drawing in the power from the ether will help you to grow abundance really really good healthy abundance lots of love and light beautiful souls 
Have a beautiful and wonderful day.